it's PrestedActualGames.com here, and today we're going to be making gluten-free pineapple upside down cake. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. 350 degrees. Start. After you preheat the oven, next you're going to need these ingredients. You're going to need vanilla extract, brown sugar, baking powder, almond milk, or normal milk. We just have almond milk. Um, and this is um, this potato starch and almond flour and brown rice flour is um, for the purpose of a mix of flours that we use as all-purpose flour, but normal all-purpose flour could be used. Um, and then we have baking soda, organic Icelandic vanilla yogurt, um, or any vanilla yogurt could work. Um, and then we have some butter and pineapple and sea salt. We're gonna add a fourth a cup of melted butter into a, a pie at hand, which yet again is actually a skillet. And then we have to spread this around. We have now spread it out. Make sure there's nothing over here. Spread it out. We do not dump, we sprinkle the brown sugar, which is slightly hard. Still. Okay. Sprinkle. It's a big one. Oh. That didn't really work out. Okay. Okay, so we actually have this really cool pineapple remover thingy that you stick up a pineapple and then it just turns it into this. Which is really cool, except it's a bit hard to use, but it's really cool if you can figure out how to use it. Um, then we add the pineapples to the bottom. We arrange them on the bottom. It doesn't have to be pretty, as long as it tastes good. Ta-da. Okay, so now we're going to add the baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, and all-purpose flour, gluten-free mixy thingy into a bowl. And we're gonna whisk it. It says to whisk it, so I will whisk. So we're adding um, half a teaspoon of which one? Of one of them. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, which we're gonna eyeball because. That's baking soda. Oh. This one. You can see I'm a professional cook. I will be competing on uh, Cutthroat Kitchen in a few months. And I am a professional chef and will win because I can tell the difference between baking powder and baking soda. Boom. Now a little teeny bit of baking soda. Just a bit. I uh, call it baking soda. I wish. Boom. Now we must add a pinch of salt, which basically means dump out a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. A lot more than a pinch. <laughs> what? What would you expect me to put it in my hand and then dump the rest in there? It's gonna be a salty cake, just like me. So we're going to put in some more brown sugar, three fourths a cup of this and one fourth a cup of normal castor, normal sugar. I don't know if it's castor sugar, but normal one. Organic. Organic sugar, cane sugar. Yes. Sugar cane, wow, it's really like Minecraft. Okay, so now into our dry ingredients we add one egg, specifically at room temperature, not sure why, but specifically at room temperature, we're gonna add an egg. Here we go. Whoa, no shell. We add a fourth a cup of yogurt, vanilla yogurt. And then half a cup of milk. And remember that you're supposed to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Don't forget while trying to mix it. Also remember that you're supposed to add butter and don't almost move on to the next step without it. The batter over the pineapples and the rest of the stuff. So here's our batter. It's good. We're gonna put it in the oven for at 350 degrees like we preheated at the beginning of the video. It goes in the oven for 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So I don't know if we own any toothpicks. But diagonally and just like fractions. Really good. Even though you are not a professional baker, you can still eat it. It's really good. Um, it tastes really good. I haven't had one in a whole in a really long time, so I'm sort of just like must eat now. Um, but yeah, this is really good. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.